Hey guys, this is just a quick video of a day out that I had on my bike, so yeah, just uh, enjoy the ride, literally, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, spread the word, and enjoy. Let's see what I did on my bike ride. Woodlands and fields, because that's where I live. So I decided let's just do a um, vlog uh, on my bike. Just you know, a bit of a day out. It's been a long time since I've been out on my bike, just for a random bike ride. And I'm already exhausted. And I've done like two minutes of bike riding. <laughs> it's how much I just don't bike ride. But I just thought, because I got this bike, I think about Christmas, and I've rode it like three times. This is the third time I've ever rode it, and it's like halfway through the year now. It's like May the thirty-first, I think. And I got it for Christmas, and it is a really, really expensive bike. And I'm, I'm gonna go not to the exact detail, but this bike is over a thousand pounds, right? <laughs> this is an expensive bike. It didn't come with the uh, saddle, but um, it's an easy gel that I got from Aldi's. It's not actually that comfortable, so it don't really work. It's about the same as before I had it. But the only problem is, the seat's too high for me. I need to saw off some of it in the bottom so I can put it down. But um, yeah, so that's the name of it. It's a Voodoo. And it's a really nice mountain bike. It's got these, um, let me just show you, suspensions. So when I push down on it, the suspension is pretty good because it's got like a lock. And I'm not sure if it's open or not. Yeah, there we go. You see? This is about as um, soon as the suspension will go. So it's like really soft suspension. It's completely open. So um, hopefully it don't fall over there. But, um, it's got some nice disc brakes. If you're into mountain bikes, you like this. Um, it's got continental tyres. Can't really see it too well, but they're like proper continental tires. It's all stock. This is what the bike came with, but it is a really nice bike. And um, so yeah, uh, you've probably seen a lot of the handlebars. I did try and record that first part where it was facing forwards, and you can see where I was going. For some reason, I thought it was okay. It looked okay when I was looking at the camera, but apparently it wasn't. It's come out where it's just looking at the handlebars. So hopefully I can fix that for the rest of the bike ride. So you can be looking straight forward. 
So, yeah. But, um, you want to see what I got in the package the other day? Like I was shouting out on Twitter. I was going to do a day in life where I'd just like a weekend day of me going on my bike and I want to do it at home. But I was supposed to do that yesterday. But I couldn't go yesterday because we had some problems at home with my dog. So I had to spend the day at home with him. So I came out today. It was nice sunny yesterday. Now look, overcast and just grey skies through the trees. So hope the sun was out a bit before it went away. It just as it went out, my luck. So um, hopefully you can hear me because it's pretty windy. I'm trying to speak up loud. But, um, no one around. I'm probably the only person in these woods. But these woods, because like this is where I've just come from, up that path, and then there's a main road down that way. I've just come up here and I'm thinking about going up here towards another path. I could go that way. But if I go up here, and then kind of that way and that way, if I get a better view of it, I'll show you. It's just literally about 30, 35 miles of woodland. It goes on forever, probably more. It's probably in the 50 mile radius. And it's a huge woodland. It goes all the way kind of up there. It like goes up here and then it cuts around up there. It goes all the way to Sherrod Forest. And I live like nearer to Mansfield and Edwin Stowe is like where Sherrod Forest kind of thing is. So, it's far away from each other, but there's a huge forest in the middle of it. And um, then you've got Sherrod Forest, but I'm not going there today. And if you look around the other side, if you can see it in the distance, more woodland. I live pretty much in the middle of just woodland and nature, and I love it. I love it. Look, just fields. No high rise or skyscrapers or buildings in the way. But I just thought I'd take a break, have a drink, and then, um, because I was out of breath a second ago, I need to start bike riding a lot more. But, um, yeah, there's my bike, and like I was just about to say before I rudely interrupted myself, um, the package that I was shouting out is this. It's a camera harness. It's like a chest harness, and you put cameras on. I got it for eBay for a good price. It's like £8.25, and it fits my camera. It's a Nikon one. Although it's a different model of Nikon, my Nikon still fits to it. So it's pretty good. I ordered it, and um, yeah. So I can go on like roller coasters. If I ever go to a theme park for a day out, I'll take my camera and I'll like get some first person views on some roller coasters with this thing. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm testing it out. It's the first time I've used it. I'm testing it out today on my bike. So I'm going to see how it goes. We're going to go that way. And yeah, so let's get back in and bike ride and I'll see you further down there.
gonna do. I'm gonna go around the corner and straight down there. Alright? Right down there. This is the fastest pass in the woodlands. You go right down there, you can go flying. I've been down here once before. I went to launch myself, but you can see in the distance. Got damn people in the way. I don't know if you can see it with this camera because they are quite far away. But there are some people in the way, so to do that, I've got to wait up here and wait for them to go. I'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be bike riding slowly along there, right? Now I come around this corner from about there, where the um, white part is, is where I start to really accelerate. And what I do is I start off about gear four, or the gear I'm on now, about five actually. And then I just shift up there, and then you go into set two. And you should be flooring it down there. Because you've got loads of power when you're pedaling. And it's downhill. And you're already on a rolling start. So hopefully I can get it on my camera. So now i just got to wait here until they go. Because I don't know what they're doing. But they're taking their time about it. They don't like them moving at all. So, um, you know, I would come back. But that's kind of the direction I was going to head in for this uh, video. So, yeah. So look, at, look at the nature. I'll take a few pictures whilst I'm waiting. And look at it. Look at the nature and the sun. Don't look in the sun. I might want to skip the part of the video. Because <laughs> it's uh, very bright. But um, so yeah, there's kind of two ways to go. That way leads more towards shared forest, I think. So it's quite a long path, so I can guess. And like, There's this huge main road that goes along there and it goes along the side of it kind of thing. And they're not moving. Oh, hey. <laughs> and just back up a bit because I can't see around the corner. And they're not moving at all. What the hell are they doing? It's kind of annoying. But, um, so yeah, I would go down that way. But, uh, that's not the direction I'm heading. So, I'm just waiting for these people to move. So, I really want to show you on camera first person view of how fast you can go along this path. I've done it before, and it is incredibly fast. So, um,. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for them for a bit, see if they move, so take a few pictures maybe. And I'll see you in a minute when these people finally go. So, yeah, wish me luck. So it's good because it's loose gravel. So um <laughs> yeah. But it was good. I was strung on like my net or I think, but oh well. It's gonna kill me. So um yeah. True fact about nettles, stop please don't actually fix it. <laughs> you ever heard of like the saying, I'm just gonna hang on a second. Uh do that. So, hang on. Get a bit bouncy there. Here. There we go. So yeah, you heard the saying that when you get stung by a nettle, there's always dock, or dock leaves around, and if you get some dock leaves, you um, you're supposed to put it on where the nettle stung. Yeah, and then it takes it away, 
it's not real, it don't actually work. It's actually a placebo effect. It makes your mind think it works. So the, your mind doesn't find the pain anymore, and you don't feel the pain anymore. But it's called the placebo effect, so fun factor. Fun facts with energize. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, but I still have something to say. Probably can't hear me because of the uh, wind as I'm going uphill. There we go, flattened out. I was going uphill on a way high, way too high. Uh, so yeah, I've got work tomorrow. I'm going to do my day in the life tomorrow because one, I got work, two, my mum's on an early so I can get up and use the camera around the house without thinking, what are you doing? Talking to a camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, God. God. Look at this. Nearly at the top of the hill. I should have gone down a gear. Well, quite a lot of gears actually because way too high of gear. So, I'm just about to head in the direction I've never been in before. <laughs> Bro. Like this woodland's so huge, there's probably about, I don't know, a couple of thousand, there's at least around the 4,000 pathways. There's loads of pathways because the woods are so big. Like if you've ever thought that you live in a woodland, you haven't. This is probably the biggest stretch of woodland in England and I'm choosing a bike ride around it because up in like the northern area like Nottingham and stuff, not Nottingham City, but further out near like Mansfield and stuff because I live in like the most, is it rural, is that the word? Rural part of um, England and it's just pure nature everywhere and the forests are huge so I started at least an acre over that way, an acre or so, where I'm showing you my bike, and it literally is like that way, and I'm going that way, <laughs> and I've never been down this path, I don't know where it leads, but um, let's find out, so this is more of a relaxed part of the uh, vlog, so let's find out what's here, because I'm just, just talking, you know, it's going to be a big video, it's going to be like half an hour long, it's going to be a really long video, so true fans out there will be watching this. <laughs> Thank you guys and girls for watching. All my subscribers, thank you very much. And all the new subscribers that may subscribe on this video, also thank you very much. And I know I haven't been doing the world is so bumpy. So it's all like rocks. So hopefully the camera's not shaking too much. I've got a steady arm. I'm not going too fast on the bump, so it should be steady-ish. But um it's actually downhill, so I'm building up some speed, so hopefully the wind doesn't affect it. Probably gonna have to speak up louder. But um I'm doing this with one hand, it's really rigidy because there's huge rocks. Thin tyres, well, they are continental, so that should be good on this kind of terrain. I've opened up my uh, suspension, like, this is proper mountain bike suspension. Here we are. I'm just gonna, for this part, show you. Look how fast I'm going. This is insanely fast, I'm doing it one hand with a camera. This ain't good. <laughs> you know, if I hit a massive rock now and I'm not even wearing a helmet, I don't know where my helmet is. <laughs> yeah! That steady hand. <laughs> uh, it's really bumpy. <laughs> oh, this is life. This is life. This is what life's all about. Oh, nearly went there. <laughs> I tried to turn around and behind. It didn't work. Saved it though. Probably looks really bumpy on the camera. You might not be able to hear me. Oh, I've got to slow down. I think I know where I am now. Alright, let me just... Yeah. Alright. So I know where I am. Just came from all the way over there. And um, time is quarter past two and I've got to be on for three because I've got a freaking landlord coming to the house and he's got to do like an inventory check that they have to do like every six months to the house. So I'm going to get back to that. Although it's not my house, it's my mum's house. But <laughs> still, I'm going to make sure he doesn't get any of my PS4 or PCs or... PS3. I'm getting a new PC soon as well. I'm getting a proper huge gaming PC, like a Coolmaster, I think it's called something like that. It's 400 quid. And that's just for the uh, body of it. And, uh, yeah, I better start moving because I can hear trees creaking. If you know any laws or rules of the woodland, you don't stay near trees when they're creaking. You move along because you can never tell which tree it is. 
is the, uh, the sound echoes of all the other trees. So that's insane. But yeah, as I was saying before I start going along the bike ride, there's a coming to a load of gravel. What the hell is all this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's a dead end. I've just come to a dead end. There's a wheelbarrow over there. So, uh, yeah. I've got to go back up that way now because it is literally a dead end. Damn. But, um, so yeah. So, thanks to all the subscribers out there, like I was saying. And um, if you subscribe now, you are also awesome. And uh, you were awesome before, but you're more awesome now because you subscribed. So, more gaming videos. I know I've been lacking in gaming videos, but uh, vlogs like this where I'm just enjoying life. I mean, look at this. This is life. Enjoying nature and having fun. So, the more subscribers I get, the more I'll be able to uh, enjoy life as well with you guys and I can take you on amazing adventures and I'm not just saying that because I want to get famous I want those subscribers I'm fine with the 400 so I've got because they are awesome people and um, new subscribers are always awesome all my viewers are awesome I'm happy that I'm almost at 12k I'm at like 11.9k views on my channel so thanks for watching I gotta go back up there and uh, let's enjoy the rest of the uh, bike ride so um, yeah I'll start recording again when I find something interesting so, yeah, let's keep on going. You people are awesome. Yeah.